James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 12, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen four more M-class solar flares just today using UTC time. Yesterday we saw six, one, two, three, four, five, six CMEs come from three different sunspots. Now we're going to try to find out where these CMEs originated, but the last one was another M-class 6.8 magnitude that looks like it occurred right around 10 UTC time. Let's get a time here. Closer to 9 UTC time, excuse me, peaking at 9, and a 6.89 according to NOAA, a 6.8 according to NASA. So, already today, four M flares. Let's take a look at them and get some additional information. Moving over to GOES Ultraviolet Imager to 195 angstroms, look at the plasma arcs and plasma shoot out of 3369. The problem with this is it's happened after any of the M flares have been reported. This only covers the last couple of hours and this is a constant explosion. The large M flare was supposed to come out of this sunspot up here and we're going to go to SDO to see if we can see that occur. It was almost two hours ago, but let's go take a look. Before we go, let's take a look at our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, and we're going to see that that very strong M-Class 6.89 magnitude solar flare peaked around 856, just as NASA said it did, and it was over, well, most of Western Europe, a good part of Africa, the Middle East, and parts of Russia, India, etc. A very large x-ray flux here. This is the x-rays hitting our lowest region in our atmosphere or cavity, the D region, the D region absorption, our last sign of defense, which means this went right through it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're running a very high sea flare all day long. Nothing substantial has happened since then. According to this and our x-ray flux but what is happening with sunspot AR3363 we all saw the activity first of all I'd like to say that all the sunspots are no longer extremely complex according to NASA 3361 up here is beta gamma and 3367 here is beta gamma Everything else is alpha or beta. So the complexity is no longer there for some reason, even though 3363 and 3372 look like absolute heck. Let's take a look at the sunspots that generated those four M flares already today. First one being 3366. That sunspot's going to be all the way over here, going around the limb. Probably not going to be any sort of problem for us. The next M flare came from 3372, which looks very complex coming around the northern limb here. Gave us so much trouble yesterday with three out of the six M class solar flares. Next on the list again is 3361, which again is going around the limb. Shouldn't be a problem for us. And that's going to be followed up by the big one, 3372 again. Now, we all saw 3363 on STO over the last two hours misbehaving big time. We're going to look for that actual M6.8. And NASA now has upgraded that to an M6.97. We're going to look for that generated from Sunspot AR3372 right here started at 849 peaked at 855 we had 854 and stopped at 9 UTC time according to NASA 
All right, let's get started over on the left. It's the 12th. So much activity coming out of 3363. Three, three. It's incredible. And I don't see much of anything happening out of 3372 three, three, or 3361 three, three, for that matter, although I did see a pop there. It is the 12th right. Wow, look at 3363. Three, three. And above that. Oh, I think the explosion happens. Just as they cut the feed, it looks like a rather large explosion. We'll get to the end of it. Watch the very end up here. There it was. Very hard to see. We'll see if it's easier over here on 171 angstroms. Again, 3363 three, three is completely active, earth facing. You can see the flare just as it's killed there. There it is, right there. That is the M6.8. Seven solar flare. So let's go over finally the four M flares generated thus today. It looks like we're losing strength in that baseline that almost went to an M baseline and just shied away and has now returned to a mid sea level baseline. The first M flare here, and I can actually give you times per NASA, it's going to be the M1.4 at 0.21 UTC time, ending at 0 0.40. An M1.4 out of AR3366 that is going around the limb currently, not probably a problem. Next M flare we see is this M1.3 out of 3372. This is M3366, not going to be a problem with that first M flare, only an M1. And that second M flare is an M class 1.3 magnitude coming out of 3372, which looks complex, but according to this, is no longer complex. The next M flare that we see is going to be an M1.3 as well almost following that immediately and that's going to be a 3361 which is going to be up here now that is going to be one of the uh, beta gamma sunspots remember we're only dealing with two 3361 and 3367 which has not shown any major activity uh, so far today finally we're going to deal with that M6.8 or 6.9, depending on who you believe. That again generated from AR3372. We just saw that on STO. Look like a large flare, and there's a good chance that none of these will be earth directed. We'll take a quick look at ISWA. All right, it looks like they have modeled a CME to be directly impacting Earth on about the 14th or 15th now let's see about the 15th remember the 13th or this evening after 6 p.m. Central they're expecting the CME to light up the skies tonight according to mainstream media who actually predicted it five or six days ago we'll see what happens but we do know They've modeled another direct hit, maybe a double flare here. Looks like a double flare to impact Earth on what looks like the 15th. You can see the time up here. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a busy couple of days or 24-hour period, really, thus far. We'll see where it goes from here. God bless each and every one of y'all. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.